all right all right welcome again today we're going to be discussing excuse me we're going to be discussing um about strategy strategy for transforming your marriage last week we discussed prayer it's confidence we we talked about how to build your confidence in god through prayer we talked about we did different kinds of prayer prayer of thanksgiving to start off with uh, and then surrender and uh, attitude and uh, prayer of faith and eventually we did warfare prayer wherever you are my goal is to help you transform your marriage and hit your goals as a married man so if you are there anywhere in the world you're a believer you love the lord you want to see your children follow after god you want you're doing well in your work you're doing well in your business you're doing well in your ministry maybe you're a pastor or leader and you you're actually doing well in the community but um, for some reason, your marriage is not the way you want it to be, then I'm your guy. I'm here to help you, help you uh, on this channel. But also, I do that. That's, my, that's what I do as part of my ministry. And I have people who I coach regularly to help them with this very issue. So if you need help with that, reach out to me. And I'll be glad to help you. My goal is not just to help you with your marriage, but to help you make mega impact. Now we're going to talk about we're going to talk about strategy today. How do you move your marriage forward while praying? I remember many years ago, many many years ago, when I was still in high school. We had a teacher that said to us that if you want to get a good grade, if you want to get a good grade, what you need to do is pray as if only prayer will help you get the best grade ever. And study as if only studying will help you get the best grade ever. And I tried that. It worked very well for me working hard on studying and praying alongside what that does is you will do your part as a student uh, or in this case as a husband and uh, as a wife but then in case there's something that's beyond your power a spiritual attack a mental health issue problems that you cannot solve or resolve by your own action the power of god takes care of that and also you will be uh, in good health and in sound mind to continue to take care of stuff so this is why um it is important to have this mindset that prayer is not does not stand alone it stands with action and i put action because it is God's instruction. So you're praying, you're listening for instruction, and you're taking action. So prayer plus action equals miracle. That is my belief. Prayer plus action equals miracle. When you pray the kinds of prayers that we prayed all through last week, and you're trusting God for a move, if you add the agape strategy to it, the love workout method, uh, to it you are going to experience a miracle it's beautiful to have confidence in god it's beautiful to have confidence in what god has done in you it's also good to understand god's strategy so when you have god's strategy and you have confidence in god then you know you have a winning formula all right so let's let's start with what are people going through in their lives what are the, some of the points what are things that make marriages, Christian marriages especially, struggle? I want to say the first thing I will put there is the enemy. We have a spirit, a demon, a, a devil, an enemy who is against uh, marriages, but not just the marriage. The devil is not against your marriage for 
just because he wants to be against your marriage. He's actually against you and against your children, the next generation and their generations. He knows that if he can take you out, he's taking out not just you, but the entire generation after you. The devil understands that. And this is why he fights marriages, because if he can stop the marriage or make people not want to get married or when they get married, put a lot of trauma in their lives and in the lives of their children, then he, he succeeds in messing up a lot of people. The second point that I will give you why marriages struggle for believers is that a lot of believers do not know how to repair marriages. They have no good strategy. The strategy for marriage repair is weak. They don't have the skills required and they don't have any any uh, serious um, or good strategy. And it's normal. We are not, when we get into relationships, we're not thinking of repairing them. We're thinking of building them. I usually like to focus on the husbands because I know that when a husband gets it, is it transfers what he learns to his wife and most women are open to working on their marriages men that are clueless about the fact that the marriage is struggling and sometimes men know they and they can see it but they're not ready to work on it or sometimes they don't see the gravity of it and so for before a man sees that there's a need to work on their marriage most men not all men uh, the woman has already been talking about it for a year or two. So I discovered that when I help men, the wives who have been waiting for them to ch change, they jump in uh, and work hard together. And so we get more results when we work with men. So I'm hoping today that you as a husband will take hold of what I'm sharing with you. You take action on it and you, your wife, your children and their children and their children's children would benefit from it. And your marriage doesn't need to be struggling to partake in this, um, in the exercise of learning the, the, the strategy of God. Your marriage doesn't need to be struggling. Anyone who wants to have a great marriage should invest time in learning this strategy. If you are, you've watched with me today and you, you want help in any way, do not hesitate to reach out to me reach out i will be happy to help you i have a coaching pl a program that i help people with and it's is designed such a way that you can jump in at any time and build your your whole life on this strategy that god has designed the love strategy and I've designed it for a 90 day program so that you can follow step by step for 90 days, step by step for 90 days. And if you are interested in that, in joining with others like you to move your marriage forward within 90 days, get expert training, step by step, by size, by size training and my input, weekly input. You can come to me and say, this is what I'm trying to do. This is what I, I'm going to say and get help with that. I want you to take advantage of it right now. I want to give you a gift. If you don't have it already, which is what, what I call my friendship rebuilding cheat sheet. It's a one page document that you can use when you look at it. It tells you exactly what steps to take to rebuild friendship. It's just one step in the roadmap there's a nine step roadmap which i will lay out to you tomorrow uh, but one of the steps is the friendship rebuilding if you're interested in that you just need to go to adisobanja slash friends adisobanja slash friends and just click on it Keep, send me your email and i will send you the pdf right away now when i send you the pdf you will have my email address then you can reach out to me and ask me any questions that you may have. I do read all my emails. Yes, there are many. And so I may not respond to you immediately, but I will respond to you. I do read my emails myself. And I, I'm, I delight in responding to my readers and my viewers and members of my uh, channel. So if you subscribe to this channel, thank you for subscribing. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe so that you can get the notifications. So 
the key here is there is a strategy and God wants to reveal that strategy to you and help you. Until tomorrow, same time, continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. God bless you and bye for now.